A good note application is built, among other things, on its ability to search through a large database of notes. And this week I'm going to show you how good Apple Notes is at search. Hello and welcome to another edition of my Working with Apple series. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I am going to take you into the world of Apple Notes' search. Now this is something that Apple have been working on over the last 18 months or so to dramatically improve this area. Now it's not an area that gets talked about a lot but it's something that because I'm getting a little bit despondent with Evernote more on that later. I have been looking into a possible alternative of using Apple Notes. Now that does not mean that I am going to shift away from Evernote but for now I am experimenting with Apple Notes and one of the key features, one of the, the strongest features in Evernote is its ability to search a large database of notes. So I was really curious about whether Apple Notes was any good at search just generally. So I'm going to take you into my real Apple Notes account and show you how I'm using it at the moment and more importantly how you can use it to search and I have to say I was quite impressed. Now before we go any further I would just like to say if you do get any value from this video then please help me in return by hitting that like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet and you want to learn more about how to use your Apple devices to become more productive then please subscribe to my channel. Okay it's now time for me to take you into my Apple Notes and show you how search works. Okay, so for the purposes of demonstrating the search functionality in Apple Notes, I thought I should take you into my real Apple Notes account. Now, the thing is, at the moment, I am doing a little bit of research using Apple Notes because I really want to know how good it is is. Now for those of you who've been following my YouTube channel for quite some time, you know I've been, I'm an Evernote user, I've been using Evernote for well over 10 years, but I'm really curious about what Apple Notes can do because every year Apple improves it, it gets better and better and better. Now one of the key features of Evernote is its powerful search engine and right up from the very beginning one of the problems that I have found with Apple Notes is there's no keyboard shortcut that's going to take you into a search window so you're going to have to use your cursor to go to the search box which is right up here on the top right hand side. Now normally with Apple you can actually if I have a look in here just to see usually you can actually uh, change the the formatting of this and I'm just having a look customize toolbar which you can so you go up here and that brings it down now normally you can actually move things around as you can see I can actually move the search now somewhere to the middle right there for example I can actually just add the search that's just a quick idea for you uh, and so maybe what I'm going to prefer is I prefer to put that right over here this is a space so I can just drag that out and then I've got the search over here on the left hand side and while I'm in here you've got all these various other things that you can actually just add up there so you can just drag and drop them where you want for example new note can be dragged there's already one there I can drag any of these things in here so that's just a quick tip for you there if you want to play around with uh, the, the layout of your your menu bar and to do that all you have to do is as you can see I think let's have a look view um, I think it was customized toolbar just there so it's in the view section you can customize toolbar and you can go straight in and change that around just for me I think that's just a better place to go um, and it's wobbling a bit now so um, just go back in here that might be a little bit of a problem so customize toolbar um, that's it done okay it's it's gone a bit weird so let me just um, yeah it's just shaking so let me just do a quit and we'll come back in. So there you go. The the benefits of doing this completely like you see is solved the problem and you can see my search bar is right where I want it right up here. Incidentally those of you using a MacBook Pro you also have when we go back into the view you can actually customize the touch bar as well 
uh, but that comes down here and I can actually do the default set is down here uh, I can't actually add anything in there that I would like but there you go there's just something that you might want to have a consider okay but the purpose of this video is to show you how to do searching now for those of you who know me and have followed me on my Evernote videos you know that the one thing that I'm always going to have in my notes section I am going to have something to do with James Bond so let's do a quick search James I'm just going to pull up James and then I'm going to do Bond um, B-O-N-D and sure enough it's brought up the search results and that is really fast if you see that I mean I don't really have that many notes in my Apple notes but I am assured by those people who have a lot of notes in their <clears throat> in Apple notes they actually say that the search is incredibly fast so there you go I have a number of <laughs> James Bond sweaters in here so I can actually go in here and I can get the the sweaters from uh, NPL or wherever so they're all in here that you can actually get uh, various things so I've got the, this note up here this one here and this one here so these are all really cool remember if you come back out just click on the cross in the search box so there's one of the ones now you've also got some suggested search so notes with checklists so anything with a checklist is in here so I can go down here sure enough there's a checklist there uh, coaching program update that I'm doing so I've got something there daily routines this is something that I was playing around with by the way which is my daily routines and I could actually do anything like search within that note. Uh, let me see. We've got, uh, let's type in energy because that's going to be my theme for next year. Is more to do with energy. And sure enough, it's picking up the words within the notes itself. So all this is in here and you can search for the words. So one of the things if you're wanting or thinking about transitioning from Evernote to Apple Notes, you're going to lose the ability to tag Although what I could do, for example, I could actually add in to the bottom of a note. It's not tidy, but you can actually do a tag and just say daily routines. Uh, I'm going to keep it as one word. Uh, let's go out of this. We'll close down that. And I'm just going to go into notes. No, nope, all notes. And now I could just do my hashtag and it's going to bring up anything like here. So I can then if I type in daily. And sure enough, it's bringing up the search. So you could add tags using the hashtag. I'm not going to do that if I do decide to go with Apple Notes. I'm not actually going to do that. But that said, it is something that you can do if you wanted to actually use Apple Notes as your main note taking application. So essentially you've only got folders and note within notes. Uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail about how I've set up these folders in my real account. That can be for a future episode, but you can see them down here. Uh, these are just something that I'm experimenting with. This is not my main note taking application just yet. It might be in the future if Evernote don't pull their finger out and start doing something because I'm getting more and more frustrated with its inadequacies, which I've never felt before. But recently, particularly with iOS and those of you who may follow me on Twitter, I have actually now removed Evernote from my, my iPhone because it's just not it's just not usable. Apple Notes is optimized for iPad and iPhone and it really does work. So I'm doing a lot of my end of year planning just using Apple Notes. And to be perfectly honest, shockingly, I'm actually enjoying the whole process. OK, hopefully that's given you some ideas about how to do and use search in Apple Notes. I hope you found it actually useful that you can actually play around with the 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 menu bar of Apple Notes because that can be very, very useful, particularly now because instead of having to move all the way to the top right, I have it right over here on the left, which is for me more natural for searching. So there you go. Hopefully that's given you some ideas. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Thank you for watching this video. Now, if you have enjoyed these Apple videos that I'm doing and you want to build your very own Apple productivity system then please check out my create your own Apple productivity system course which is available from my learning center and is incredible value and it will show you how to bring all these parts together the notes app iCloud reminders and calendar into one beautiful productivity system check out the course here the details are below and I hope to see you in the course.